Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. So this question belongs to GATE CSE 1999. The question is the number of full adders and half adders required to add 16 bit numbers is. Okay, so we are having a total of 16 bits guys. Okay, and we want to add them with one more 16 bit number. Okay. Yes, so whenever we want to add two numbers, so if you recall, we learned about half adder and full adder, right? Yes, so what exactly is half adder, guys? When you want to add two numbers, we use a half adder. But what about full adder when you want to add three bits? Means whenever there is a chance of a carry, you need to use a full adder and in the rest of the places, you can use half adder. Okay, so to add 16 bits, there are two approaches, guys. So the first approach is use 16 full adders. Okay, and the second approach is uh, use one half adder and rest full adders that is uh, nothing but 15, 16 minus 1 is 15 full adders. Okay, so any one of them could be correct option, right? Yes. So a few of you might be saying that how exactly is this correct? So let us take a small example. Assume that you want to add two, three bits guys. A2. Similarly B0, B1, B2. So if I am adding, so first time, always how many bits I will have guys, mandatorily I will have two bits only, right? So there is no chance of carry here, right? Yes. So that is the reason why here only half adder will be enough. So from here on, you will get a carry one, carry two and carry three. So based on these outputs, it will depend. So that is the reason why from here you mandatorily need full adder. So if you are having a three bits, you need one half adder and two full adders, right? Yes. So with this understanding, you can say that option B is the correct answer, right? One half adder and 15 full adders. Okay. Yes. So one of you will be saying like, so if in options, 16 full adder is also there. So what should, should we do? So at that time, both of them will be correct, guys. So at the, these type of questions could be asked in our multiple select questions. Got it? Yes. So now you got an idea, right? Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea about this question. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.